COVID-19 isn't the first time Siouxland has faced the spread of a dangerous virus, one that can even kill. In the 1940s and 50s, it was polio. Tonight, we continue our look back at another virus that infected roughly a third of the world's population and killed nearly 50 million people and hundreds here in Siouxland, the Spanish flu. While American doughboys were fighting the Huns in Europe in 1918, the troops, their enemy, Siouxland, and the world were fighting the deadly Spanish flu. Way more people died in, in a few months in 1918, early 1919, than in all of World War I. Early reports of the flu among the troops on both sides were kept secret, not wanting to give the enemy an advantage. The uncensored newspapers in neutral Spain first reported the skyrocketing deaths, leading to the name Spanish flu. Schools were closed off and on all through the fall of 1918 and early 1919, sometimes because uh, either there were so many students sick or so many teachers, there just weren't teachers available because they were sick. People were ordered to wear masks in the fight against influenza. While it wasn't called social distancing then, the same principle applied. Uh, pretty much all uh, major public gatherings were, were banned for some time. Except in Philadelphia, where a war bonds fundraiser parade like this one was attended by thousands of people. Within a week, 2,600 people had died, 12,000 died within weeks. But certainly there were, there were many instances where whole houses were, were really sick and then several people would die. It took a heavy toll on Woodbury County during the nine months between September of 1918 to May of 1919. And in that period, uh, there were 451 people in Woodbury County death certificates issued for either uh, for either influenza itself or some type of pneumonia, which at the time was almost always was connected was the primary thing people were dying of. The death toll across the U.S. reached roughly 670,000. It was much worse in underdeveloped countries. It, something like 17 million people died just in India alone. And oddly, this influenza, often called the grip, was especially deadly for young adults. People with robust immune systems actually responded to it worse than those that were, were older. Many who suffered from this potent influenza developed a deadly form of pneumonia, their lungs filling with fluid and choking them to death. That's why it's called influenza, because the influenza is the bacteria that caused the pneumonia that killed the soldiers but it was the virus that set them up, but we didn't know what viruses were in 1918. The ravages of the Spanish flu seem to quickly regress. Now, one theory is the virus rapidly mutated into a less lethal strain. Proof that it was caused by a virus wasn't even discovered until 1933. And since then, medical researchers have been developing vaccines that have drastically reduced viral diseases like the flu, polio, measles, chickenpox, and let's hope, COVID-19.